and welcome to the Family Fudge, and welcome to another week of School Lunch Inspiration, the first of 2018. Good morning, guys. And happy Tuesday. Right now, I've got Mackenzie and Jackson and Lily helping me. Hi. Now today is Tuesday. Yesterday was the first day of the year and we actually didn't have school, but today we do. So we're right back to it. But today I'm super excited to be using these new lunch boxes for the first time. I know the kids are gonna be really excited about the front of the lunch box, which I'll go ahead and show you really quickly. Here's Mackenzie's. Ooh! So first I have this little compartment here, which comes with a really nice lid. And inside here I just put a cold tortellini salad. So we have cheese tortellini here from Costco. There's also some salami in there and two different kinds of cheeses. Now this is meant to be served cold. I am including a tiny little fork to go along with that. And then over here I have some really cute strawberries with pomegranates. Over in this corner I have lots of baby carrots. They just fit perfectly right in there. And I also have a new little cup for salad dressing. Isn't that cute? So we have ranch in there and it also comes with a little lid so it won't spill. In this section I just put a few pretzels because they just fit perfectly. And this little section here you guys, this is the treat section. Okay. So the little treat goes right here. Today I have cinnamon teddy grams. Those are so tasty. So now I'm just going to go ahead and get these lids on here and then I'll show you guys the front of the lunch boxes because they are so cool. Okay guys, so here's the front of the lunch box. What do you guys think? It's really cool. So the lid just hinges like that, and then you have this little clamp right there to keep it nice and closed. And then look at the magnets, you guys. They just come off, so you can wash it without the magnet on there. And you can actually write your kid's name right there. So we have Mackenzie's, and Jackson's, and Lily's. But I think the girls wanna take turns because they both like the unicorn one so much. Oh yes, and these also came with special lunch boxes as well that fit these guys perfectly. Just put it right down in there. This lunchbox has two pockets in the front and all of this space in here. So you could put your fork and your napkin and other treats in there. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put these in the bags and then after lunch, I will show you what they ate. Okay friends, it's after lunch now. It's about two o'clock and I have no helpers with me because they're all playing outside. And I have to say, I was having a hard time remembering whose lunchbox belonged to who but I think I have them in the right order. We have Mackenzie's and Jackson's and Lily's. So let's go ahead and check Mackenzie's first. She ate all of her pasta salad and she ate all of her strawberries, but she did leave a few little pomegranates there. She ate all of her carrots and she has a little bit of ranch left over. So I really feel like you could pack a ton of food in these boxes. So they would be great for adults as well, but I just have to keep in mind that I might not need to pack the whole thing Oh, that's weird. Jackson ate just the tortellinis, but he left all of the cheese and the salami. So maybe he didn't like those. That's strange. He did eat his fruit and his vegetables, and he ate almost all of his ranch, so he really liked it. Now Lily, I think I gave her too much food today. She left one tortellini and a lot of the cheese. I'm not quite sure what the deal is with the cheese. They didn't seem to like that as much. She has a few strawberry pieces left and quite a lot of carrots. She's not really the biggest fan of carrots, but I try to get her to eat them anyway. She has two of her pretzels left, and I don't know that she touched her ranch. Maybe she had one taste of her ranch. So overall, we really like these boxes, and we're gonna keep using them this week. Hi guys, and welcome to Wednesday. It is just about lunchtime, and as you can probably tell, we're having lunch at home because it's Kenzie's birthday. Hi. Happy birthday, Kenzie. Thank you. How old are you now? Eight. Eight years old. So today I have a really special lunch. I started off with some sesame Asian chopped salad. This is really tasty. It has cabbage, romaine, and a sesame dressing. It's very tasty. Now to go along with that, I'm also serving a turkey and cheese sandwich. And Mackenzie requested butterfly shapes today and Lily helped me cut them out. Good job, Lily. Thanks, I like cutting out sandwiches. Good job. Now for our fruit today, I'm just giving the kids a little cutie that hopefully they can peel themselves. Nice and easy. And it comes with a Snapchat sign. <laughs> On the side, I'm giving the kids a couple of these little bow tie 
crackers. These are really tasty. They are left over from Christmas, but they're not too old yet. These kind of taste like pizza. Now, because it is Mackenzie's birthday, we have a very special treat that the kids helped me make. This morning, we made some Funfetti cupcakes, and then I just put some rainbow chip frosting on there, and then the kids helped me to dip them in mini M&Ms. Don't those look fun? Yeah. yeah. Yum. And just for fun, I'm gonna go ahead and put this little happy birthday pick on top. Isn't that cute? Yeah. I love it. Okay, guys, are you ready? Yeah. All right, here's Mackenzie's. Thank you, Here you, you can come back for your salad, okay? Okay. And here's Lily's. Okay, guys, lunch is over now. We have Jackson's, here is Mackenzie's, and Lily's. And as you can tell, they did really well today. What'd you think, Mackenzie? It was really yummy. Was it special for your birthday? Yeah. What was your favorite part? I like the cupcake and the sandwich. Yeah, I thought the sandwich was really good, too. Okay guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, friends. And happy Thursday! So here's what we have in today's lunch. Over in this corner, I have some broccoli with some ranch. I also have some blueberries and a little strawberry, which I cut into the shape of a heart. Now in this little container over here, I have a double chocolate mint brownie bar. Now these are just like the uh, fig bars, but of course this one has chocolate and mint. There are some dates in there for sweetness. They're really tasty. Now to go in this little section, I have more of my cinnamon Teddy Grahams. Those are like little cookies, very tasty. And then over here, I have some of these veggie chips. In this tiny little container here, I have a few rounds of salami. And then for our sandwich today, I ended up just doing bread and vegetable cream cheese. So it's pretty simple, but the kids love it. Is it good, guys? Yeah! So we have a little bit more for Mackenzie and for Jackson, and a little bit less for Lily, so hopefully she will eat it all. So now I just need to pop on all of my lids. I will close this up, and these guys over here don't actually even need a lid. They'll stay closed, no problem. So, we'll close, oh, I forgot. This one needs a lid. We'll put a lid in here. We'll get it in our bag, we'll put an ice pack, and then we're just taking water today, right? Yeah. Because we still don't have any juice, but that's okay. Maybe we'll go to Costco soon. Okay guys, time to see what they ate. I have Mackenzie here helping me. Say hi. hi! Okay, so let's check Mackenzie first. Let's see how she did. It looks like you ate everything. Even your ranch is pretty much gone. So what'd you think? It was really yummy. What was your favorite part? I liked the brownie bar and the sandwich. The sandwich was good? Yeah. Awesome, let's check Jackson's. Oh, he did a good job too. He ate everything. And then... Griffin, shh, careful. And here's Lily's. Lily just left a couple little pieces of broccoli. You don't like the stems? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, you like the ranch. And did you like your sandwich? Yeah. What was your favorite part? The sandwich, the brownie, the broccoli, the ranch. You liked everything? And the salami. You like the salami too? Yeah. Awesome. Like okay, great job. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. And welcome to Friday. That's right. Good job, guys. Right now I have Mackenzie and Jackson and Lily Hi. here helping me. And I'm just putting the finishing touches on today's lunch, which turned out really fun. What do you guys think? It's cool. really cool. Yeah. What do you think of your new lunch boxes? Cool. It's really cool. Yeah. They are cool. I have to say that they're a little bit heavy, but that also makes them pretty sturdy, I would say. So right now we're just putting the blueberries in our yogurt and Lily's gonna help me do that. In here we have some vanilla Greek yogurt and we're just gonna add our blueberries to make a happy little smiley face. Is that fun, you guys? Yeah! Okay. Yeah. Okay, so to go along with our yogurt today, I am including a little cup of granola that the kids can shake onto their yogurt when they're ready to eat it. Next to that, I have a little Baby Bell type cheese. This is actually the Costco brand of a Baby Bell cheese and it's already unwrapped, so it's nice and easy for the kids. In this compartment, I have a hard boiled egg. For Mackenzie and for Jackson, I have one whole egg and for Lily, I have just a half. And I did stick a little pick in here, just like that, because it really keeps the egg from bouncing around too much in there. In this compartment, I have some sugar snap peas with a cute little pick included. And then of course you guys know what's in here, right? What do you guys think it is? It's Chips Ahoy! 
No, in here. Oh. What do you think is in here? Ranch. It's ranch, ranch because <laughs> Lily said she doesn't like to eat her vegetables without ranch. So there's a little bit in there, just a tiny bit of the homemade ranch. Now I am including a tiny little spoon today and I'm gonna have to move this over to here just so that it will fit before I close it up. And then in this little treat section, we have one single Chips Ahoy cookie. These little snack bags are perfect because they only have five in there. So we have one for each of the kids and one for mom. So that just fits right in there perfectly. Now I do need to put the lids on the yogurt so it doesn't spill. But when I close the lid, it's actually gonna seal off these two. So they're not gonna spill. Are you eating my blueberries? Yeah, I love blueberries. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get my lids on, close it up, and then after lunch, I will show you what they ate. Okay guys, now it's time to see how the kids actually did today. And we're gonna start with Mackenzie's. I actually have Mackenzie and Jackson here. Hi! Hi. Are you guys ready to see? Yeah! Okay, so Mackenzie. Oh, you did really good. Did you eat everything? Yep. Let's see, yeah? What'd you think about your yogurt? It was really good. Yeah, and did you like your granola? Yeah. Very nice, now let's check Jackson's. I ended up like taking out the thing and like dumping it in my mouth. Did you? <laughs> Okay, let's see. Oh, Jackson, did you eat your cookie or did you give it away? I ate my cookie. You ate it? Was it good? Yeah, it was okay. He was trying to tell me that he didn't like Chips Ahoy cookies, and I said, what? How? Okay, oh, you ate all of yours too. And you ate your vegetables and your eggs. Now let's check Lily's. What'd you think, Lily? You actually packed a little too much. I packed too much? Yeah. Oh, but you did pretty good. Yeah. There's just a tiny bit in there. And just one half of a snap pea and one more bite of cheese. Actually, that's pretty good. Do you, do you know what I ended up doing? Dumping this, the whole thing in my mouth. You just dumped it on your mouth and not yeah. in your yogurt? Yeah, because this is like really good. Oh, well that's okay. Well, yeah. I dumped it in my yogurt. As long as you eat it, I'm fine with that. Overall, they did really well today. And we'll see you next week. If you liked today's video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already because next week for Bunches of Lunches, I'm actually gonna be featuring breakfast ideas. I've had so many of you ask for fun breakfast ideas that are easy and that's exactly